Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn here. So today I'm with you with a huge, huge haul. So um, I have just come back from my holiday. We stayed in a place called Salt Fleet, I think it was, um, just on the Lincolnshire coastline, um, about half an hour away from Laut, which is absolutely beautiful. Really enjoyed Lau. Um But yeah, had a lovely, lovely week away. And while we were away, we, yeah, I may have spent quite a bit on crafty goodies. I did also buy myself some clothes and jewellery and things like that. But um, yeah, there was just so many places in which we could go to. So it's all, it's not going to be in order of how I bought them or where I bought them from. Um, because to, <laughs> to actually get home, you'll see what I mean, but to actually get home, I've had to do some sort of clever organisation, which you'll, you'll see in a moment. Um, so yeah, but to start off with, I just want to start off with this. My daughter bought me this. So um, my eldest daughter, Kate, who is at uni, she lives in Newcastle, which is about um, a 45 minute drive from our house. Um, she had got us all some crafty goodies to go away with. So my husband, he got a Star, a Star Wars colour and insert, an activity book, um, and then both the girls they got colouring in books as well and Kate said well you've already got all of that mum so she bought me a Harry Potter pencil case with all the goodies in which look I haven't used it because it's too gorgeous to use um I've used the pencil so I lie I have used the pencil there was more bits that came in it but I did share it with the girls got some sticky notes and I've got a pencil case some rubbers a ruler um so I thought that was really nice so that is that and then while she was away she got this to have a play with and it is still full of um stickers so i was she asked me if i would like them um to which i said yes please i would love them um because i can actually see me making cards with these or little notebooks or journal pages so lots like i said lots still left so you go through and you stick the stickers in um so she did that and then um yeah she asked me if i wanted the leftover stickers which i replied to her yes so there was that um so i'm going to start off actually i'll start off with this one just so that i can put it um, off to the side so we can get a bit more lighting um i picked this up in the works we actually visited um hornsey freeport um it's one of our favorite places actually to go um they've got some lovely shops there and um on the way down to lincolnshire we thought let's do a detour it was quite a big detour it's about an it, it added about an hour on tour journey but it was definitely worth it so i had some christmas talk and still left from christmas so um i did pick up a few things i wasn't going to pick this up but as hubby said that's a lot easier to take home than some of the other things that i was looking at so i thought you know what i will grab it i do already have one of these but i absolutely love this paper pad so i thought i'll grab it so that was from the works then my husband picked me up at this so my husband was the one who found this and this is the Santoro girls and it's actually a set of three suitcases now this is where I had to get really clever on holiday because it is a set of three but let's just I've had to tuck in um crafty goodies everywhere um within this set but how gorgeous are these suitcases and i absolutely love them these um we got from lau and they were 6.99 <laughs> um so let's remove so this is all um bits of lace and stuff I, i'm just piling it up next to me i will go through it all with you i promise um, so that you get that one and then you get this little baby one how gorgeous are them and as you can see it's full so um yeah my husband spotted them and uh, they're, they're absolutely gorgeous so i will definitely be using them for storage in my in my craft studio so let's go through this one um so there was a pound shop there um and they had more bits in than what my pound shop has in so they've got these which are the neon um pastels i've got the other pastels so that'll be nice to go with them and then they had some more acrylic markers now i've got the gold and the silver but they also had the pink the yellow and the blue so i picked up those so they're just paint markers 
The other thing that that pound shop had, so this pound shop was actually in Lincoln itself, um, in the town centre. Um, they had um, a set of two water brushes, and I really like the Dalman Rowney ones, so I was really pleased with that. There was also a tiger. Again, the tiger was in Lincoln. I was so happy because the tiger that I normally go to um, in Newcastle has a closed down. So um, I can no longer get any bits and pieces from there. So um, yeah, I did pick up a, quite a bit from there while I was there. So um, I got these three sets of glass beads, which I really like. Um, and I love, I got one of each color. They, they didn't have much of a color. Um, range this was all I had but absolutely loved them so I grabbed them um this was from a shop called um neon sheep I think it was called um my daughter was buying one for her friend and it was buy one get one free um so she got me a bumblebee one which I thought was really really nice um in Lau, um, there was an art shop there which I thought um, which I just had to go in um, and I picked up two of these uh, Signal Uniball pens but in the broad so I've been told that the broad ones work so much better than any of the others so I grabbed two of them and I've had I had to play on holiday with some um, gouache paints and they worked over the top of them fine so I have a lot of hope with them and then the other two things that I picked up was I picked up the new distress inks from um, Tim Holtz um, and this is Kitch Flamingo and Salvage Patina. Now I got them in the inks because I personally prefer the inks to the oxides. I am slowly building up my oxides but I have to say I do reach for my inks a lot more than I do my oxides so I pick them up and they were actually a really good price. They were £5.49 so I was really pleased with those. Then the last few things in this box, let's move that box out of the way. Um, I saw these sequins again in the pound shop and I loved the size of them. I picked them up mainly for the flowers but they will definitely all be used. Um, so um, they were a pound so I did pick those up. In um, Now I've got a couple of these so I'll come back to that when we get to them. Um, let's see where else right next thing I have is I've got some different laces so um, I think this is all of the lace so in um, was it in Lau again I think yes it was um, and it was the Yorkshire Trading Company we went in and they had um, a craft section which was really nice and I picked up this lace these were a pound each um, but they're absolutely gorgeous laces and most of you know I love my lace but this is all um, crocheted lace which is really really nice so I picked up three lots of that and then there's this one as well um, so there was those. These I picked up actually from Skegness. We went there yesterday, so our last day of our holiday, we had a trip out to Skegness. Um, and it's two different types of fabric tape. Uh, again, it's crocheted fabric. Um, so I'm hoping you can sort of see the designs on them. Um, and these were 50p, um, for 50 pence. Yeah, a bargain. I just, yeah, I had to grab them. Um, so there was those. Um, so again from Tiger, um, I picked up these paint brushes. They just look really nice um, paint brush. I don't have any flat rounded ones. I only have the um, flat straight and I don't know what you call them, the other style, like the round ones. Um, but um, I thought I'll grab some of them. I can't remember how much these are though. Uh, those are, I want to say two pounds. Um, next thing i got was this road tape how cool is this this is just absolutely awesome this again was from tiger um and i thought you know what i've just got recently got some stamps with houses on how cool would that be in a journal that's just going to be amazing and also i was thinking of julia's stamps as well there's a few of her stamps with the like the mush uh, the toadstool tots how cool would it be to do a journal page using this and the toadstool tots and the toadstool stool top manner and yeah so that is definitely going to be something that i do um next up these so that was 50p and then these were 50 pence as well and it is just some silver um washi tape glitter tape um and you get two four six you get seven in that you get um and you get a nice range of colors so i did pick that up as well 
Um, next, I picked these up in Skegness. I've got quite a few fount fountain pens. And I didn't think £1.30 was bad for 60 of them. So um, I did pick some of them up because I have run out, which is why I don't use my pens at the moment. So that was that. Um, again, from Tiger, I picked up this gorgeous, bright, summery ribbon. Um, how much did you get on? So you get two lots and there's three meters of each. So we've got like a lemon and a green and the both florals. I thought they were really pretty. Um, can't remember where I pick this pick this up, but it is literally just a, a reward, like loads of stickers, um, star stickers. So, um, and I am planning of using them, um, because I'm starting back at Slim and World. Um, yeah, I really need to lose these extra pounds from lockdown. So, um, I'll get a gold, I'll get a silver sticker for losing half a pound, and then I'll get a gold sticker for losing a pound. So, yeah, this is just spur me on. But I'll be doing that with my friends. Um, so it's for all of us. It's just like a little something that um we like to do. So I thought I'll get them. Um, I did get a lot of stickers, I have to say, on this holiday. Um, I got this sticker book, and I only got it because I, I really like the stickers. And it's a reward sticker book. Um, but I loved, I was drawn to these ones, which are all just like words. But it's got fantastic, um, magic, uh, amazing, star, good work, sweet, well done. Um, good work, super, love it. So uh, some of them, yes, I can't use in cards and stuff, but there's definitely ones that I can. And then we've got a sheet of um, butterfly stickers. We've got this groovy one, um, unicorns, and then it's a repeat. So you get three sheets of each. I just thought that was really nice. And I think it only costs something like 69p. Not quite sure. Oh, paper chase. How much should I pay? No. Um, I know I didn't pay full price for it, so it's four seventy five, and I'm sure I didn't pay full price for it. I just can't remember how much. These two are from Paper Chase, and I did pay full price because I mean, how could you not? They are gorgeous. So I have the Peter Rabbit Christmas card making kit, and the plan is on all the cards on the back. I'm just going to stick a little Peter Rabbit to it, and this one I just got because they're super super cute. So these ones were one pound twenty five, and these ones were one seventy five. I just love them so I had to have them. Um, I picked these up. These were three for a pound. Um, so I got two still silver stars and then I got a gold star. So that's just for my card making. Um, again from Neon Sheep. Um, I bought this paper pad for three pounds. Uh, really, really nice. Um, so I really like the designs in that. You only get one sheet of each by the looks of it. Um, but I really, really like it. Oh, no, two sheets of each. Sorry, I lie. Um, although it does look like one sheet. Anyway, uh, does it tell you how many? You get 24 sheets, and I think they are all actually different. Um, yeah. So, anyway, I got that. That was £3, so that's really, really nice. Um, next thing is from the works. I picked this up. Um, this was £2, and it's just some orange slices. And they're just to make some tags and things with. So I will come on and show you how I use them. Um, next up, I got these two colouring books. Um, so I picked these up from Boys in Lao. Um, and they are 3D effect. So, um, and the sketches. And you can just colour them in. But I really like them. And I thought, you know, these would be really nice to sit with my coloured pencils. Um, and just sit and colour. Um yeah when I'm not up to doing much else so they're literally just for me to have a lot of fun in um, and I love things like this so and then we've got the floral one and the good thing about it is is I could actually come in and fussy cut them out and use them in something else so yeah so that's I got them they were $1.99 each and they did come from boys um also picked up these just three packs um of black cardstock it was 15 sheets for a pound and just sort of bargain I'll, I'll grab them um there's my daughter actually who found them next up these were in packaging but i did take them out um so that I could get them home um, it's just a journal and i really liked it and it just says um this will make uh, this will 
make today great stuff I'm supposed to do things to achieve people to call dates and drinks and dinners and then notes and doodles and it came with a pen and the pen is lovely as well it's like a proper fine liner pen um so really pleased with that and that again was 199 which I just thought was an absolute bargain so grab that um next up um again from the works oh no the, sorry this wasn't from the works this is from Lau um same with this um and it was 199 which is really good you get a little sketchbook you get some pastel uh, pencils in browns and a white one you get some pencils and you get some charcoal um and it was from a shop called bag and buys um we nipped in to grab um a drink and yeah had to look at the, the stationery section and that was there along with the journals so I did grab that next up let's get the rest of the stickers out the way so um from neon sheep I picked up these eight adhesive sticker frames um and you get four of each style and um, but they're all decorated differently and they were one pound fifty so I picked those up um, in the pound shop they have these stickers so I absolutely love these ones I thought it was so cute um, so I picked those two up and then obviously I had to get those out and I had to get the butterflies so I grabbed those then again in Neon Sheep they had these stickers um, and these were two pounds each um, but you get three sheets in and they're gorgeous absolutely yeah so really nice and definitely something that I could definitely um, use. So there's those ones. I won't put them back in. Um, otherwise, I think this video has already taken quite a while. And we've, trust me guys, we still have quite a few bits to go through. And then um, it we've got these ones as well. I just love the pastel colours. So I didn't think those were bad for £2. Um, so I got them. Um, next up from the works, I've never seen this before, but it's a proper calligraphy set. This was five pounds. It comes with a well of ink, a paintbrush, and then you've got five different nibbed um, cartridge pens. I think that's what you call them. So I thought that would be fun to have a play with because um, I really want to learn calligraphy. Um, I keep trying, um, but yeah, I thought it'd be quite nice to try with that as well. So um, there is that. Um, more stickers now i thought these were different um because of the fact that they've got different colors so i picked up two of them these are from tiger they were two pounds each and it turns out they're both exactly the same lots of journaling stickers in here um but there's also stickers in there that i could see that i could use on other projects as well so um i didn't think it was bad for two pounds so i did end up with two of them so yeah really really nice so those are those um next up again from tiger i got myself a new sketchbook and it has got damaged on the way home that wasn't there um that's just where i've tried to cram as much stuff in as i can this was three pounds um and it's a quite thin sketch paper so i think what i'll end up doing is um sticking two pages together when i come to use it um but for three pounds i didn't think it was bad and i love the shape of it so only reason why i picked it up um next i got this which is just a reef for reef pad and this is to go in my planner um that i use um i replace the paper in it every year um and i for some reason this year i didn't bother buying any new paper and it was uh, it was two pounds and i thought you know what i'll grab it and that'll actually do me for a few years from for that particular planner so it's just a planner where i keep all my personal details in um, and next up I got this my husband actually got me this and it's really cool because it looks as though you'll be able to reuse it so it's wooden and then it's just a paper pad so I'll be using that for all of my notes how cool is that I love that really really cool um so uh, bring this one back in I got uh, some cross stitch while I was on holiday I did do some cross stitch but I think I've left it upstairs um I did um a little fox um which was really nice so um but i bought all of these and i just thought um again while i was on holiday it was really nice just sitting there and 
creating the um, the cross stitch and I'm going to turn them into Christmas decorations so I will come on and I will show you um, me doing that um, but yeah um, I, I do like to sit and um, do a bit of cross stitch um, I never know what to do with the finished product but as I finished the fox one I thought it looked gorgeous as um, as a Christmas decoration so so yeah now next up oh my goodness me what a buy so first of all was these these came from that bargain buy in Lau, um and they were 59p and it's just a double-sided tape but it's like really thick double-sided tape which is going to be perfect for my vellum um and they were literally 69 pence so i picked up five of them which is probably going to last me forever and ever but it just means that my stamped images and other bits and pieces can now have um i don't have to layer it up if you've watched my videos um regularly you'll know that if i use the vellum i put double-sided tape on the back but i layer it so that it's all covered well i don't need to do that with this so i had to just yeah just had to buy it so um i did stock up on that i like to stock up on my adhesive now I nipped into a charity shop we also nipped into pickering um on the way to our holiday um i, I love pickering and we nipped into one of the charity shops um and i picked up a couple of things so there was this which was 50p now i've mentioned this a few times on my um channel about wanting to get myself a um color wheel and i have one so this actually um yeah is my color wheel so it cost me 50p but this is going to be so much easier um to use so i'll be able I, I do need to work out exactly um but i mean it says here so if you add the orange to that um and then yeah hang on my husband did tell me exactly how to read it um but yeah i know um is it anyway or is it the, that one right i'll have to ask my husband again because he was the one who told me how to how to use it so um and you probably are screaming at me you do this and i know but oh, that that's how you do it so um is it if you add yellow onto that you get that if you add that's it so if you add red although that's just the same color isn't it oh no it isn't yeah so if i add um so if I add red into that, you get a bit darker. If I add red into that, you get that. If I add red into that, right, now I know what I'm doing. Right, so yeah, my husband did tell me. He was telling me how to how to work it. So I was chuffed to bits with that for a 50 beat because I am useless with my, um, with just with um, knowing my complementary colours and things. Um, and it was something that I've always thought, you know what, I could definitely do with something. Um, that would help me with my complementary colours and knowing how, like learning them um, so that I can, yeah, hopefully improve my skills a little bit more. So there was that. Um, right, let's, then we also, from the pound shop, I picked up these. So they had marker paper, they had pastel paper and they had black noir paper. Don't have this from my, um, in my pan shop so i picked up two each from that one. Oh, the other thing i knew do you know i'm getting ahead of myself so this is my bargain buy these two um rolls of and i can't get far so these are two rolls of clear so I'll see if i can take a bit off hello husband so these are two rolls of clear form tape and I did have a look online. I need to cut a bit off um, so that I can show you guys. Oh, um, you're not a ninja. Stop saying you're a ninja. He keeps saying he's a ninja, guys. He's not a ninja. I keep telling him he's not a ninja, but he doesn't listen. So, there we go. How cool is that? So, it's a, it's a clear um, foam tip. How cool. I just thought it was really cool. Well, anyway, the reason why I was really excited is because I found these two rolls in a charity shop um, and the two rolls cost me two pounds. 
I mean two pounds really how cool is that so I was so so happy with that we are nearly finished guys <laughs> yeah we are definitely nearly finished next I got some more of the watercolor paper from a tiger um, this was three pounds I love this watercolor paper I've had um, I've actually I think I've used up my other paper pad now so um, it's nice to have some more so while I was there I did grab it um, also got these uh, pens and they're so cute so I actually did a swatch while I was on holiday um, so here it is so they're the colours and then I've got the, the little stamps but I have an idea for these um, so I am going to definitely come on and we'll do a video with them but I've got a really cool idea for some note look cards um, that I think will look amazing with those so yeah so there's that now I am running slowly out of space um, for the last few things so the um, these were probably one of the first things that I bought on our holiday but we went to a car boots sale and there was a market there and inside the market was a craft store so I had to have a look and I got so much so the first thing I got these were two pounds I, I literally spent nine pounds honestly I haven't spent that much on crafty bits at all um, <laughs> are you laughing there husband I haven't spent that much for what I got <laughs> he keeps saying he didn't get anything but he wasn't a good boy so why would he get anything if he's not a good boy no he got loads he got absolutely loads he collects records and he bought loads of records so ignore everything he says <laughs> anyway I got these so they're sheets of acetate but it says cut out the ships from the sheet hold with a pair of tweezers and soften the plastic using a heat gun whilst it is soft shape the plastic assemble the pieces using dimensional glue and I thought they are really cool um, and it cost me two pounds for the full lot um, I got three sheets of the snowflakes I got two sheets of poncettias um, I got three sheets of pangorns and um, like foliage, um, two sheets of ivory, um, two sheets of holly and berries, three sheets of the bells and bows and things and then two sheets of mistletoe. How cool is that for two pounds? So um, I did pick up those. Um, right, we are about to have an avalanche um, I then picked this up and I only picked it up because I love autumn and I just love the colours and I love this I didn't even realise it's a daddy one um, but we can definitely use um, those daddy bits but how gorgeous is that so that was 50 pence um, I picked up this one for um, 50p and again I, this is more for journaling I picked this one up so let's see if I can actually open it up um so i need to put all of these in a folder so i take everything out of the plastic and i always have them in folders so yeah we've got well we get two sheets i didn't realize that oh so they're exactly the same so you get two sheets of the same and then you get this purple um sheet as well so i picked up that and that was 50p um i got this one and i only wanted it for the typewriter and the camera and that was at 50 pence so you've got those this one i just love these balls not sure what i'm going to do with those babies yet but again this is a 50p but i love the balls and i loved the flowers so i picked that up um no yeah then he picked up this now it is a little bit of a disappointment because um i don't know why but i thought there'd be um because i didn't sort of have a look through but i really love that paper but i'm not that keen on the spots i like that one and i like that one and the flowers um but the spots one i thought was something else i can't remember what i thought it was now um and i've got loads of this gold stuff as well but for two pounds i really can't argue with that at all so um i'm not gonna whinge <laughs> um over that because yeah for me it was still it was still a bargain um, next up, now I picked these up because I thought these were like stamps, um, like they're the perfect size for stamps and for doing on um, snippet rolls, which I am now absolutely in love with doing. And you get five sheets of stamps and this was a pound. I mean, oh, I love those Paris ones. How gorgeous are them? And also that I think they'll look good as well. 
to decorate up envelopes so I did pick up that um, next one is I picked up this now I hate the papers I'm not going to lie I do not like the papers at all they make my eyes go funny but for um, a pound it was worth it because I really love these images so we get quite a few as well so we get that one that one that one and then that one I like this paper but they, they just hurt my eyes so we'll have to do something with them um so that it yeah to show out i don't mind that one either that one's quite plain um i wonder if it's just they're too busy i don't know but anyway the papers um they're not my cup of tea at all um but i didn't get this set for that i got them for the images so that's all of the the papers that comes in it although i do like that one because you can put that in the stamps so yeah so i will have to work out what we can do with them um maybe do like a little mini series of changing them to something else um so yeah and then the very last thing so i can't believe it's taken me nearly half an hour to show you guys all what i got on my holiday um yeah oops <laughs> So the very last thing is I got some of these. Now I have picked these up in the past from my local charity shop, which unfortunately has closed. Um, but yeah, they're just um, die cut flowers. And as most of you know, I love my flowers. But then what was a nice surprise was there is also snowflakes. So I'm chuffed to bits with them. So there is a four of each. Um, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Love, love, love. So there you go guys that is my holiday haul absolutely loads of gorgeous goodies you will see a lot of these in my um on my channel because you know, guys know that i like to make something before with each thing that i have before i put it away because yeah you have to have a play don't you anyway hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you again soon in a very hopefully cool crafty video very very soon but until then please do take care everyone and happy crafting bye